morning. I'd like to call the <coughs> bid district uh, meeting to order. Um, it's uh, 8.02 on uh, Tuesday, April 2nd. Um, item number two is public comment. Anything not on the agenda, public comment. Hearing none, uh, go to approval of minutes of the meeting of March 5th. I make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. I have a I'll second. First and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Um, I'd like permission from the board to uh, move the agenda around a little bit. Uh, Quinn has a meeting that he has to go to. Can we get his report at this point and then we'll uh, go back to our regular agenda items. So uh, at this point, Quinn, you're up. Yes. Awesome. Thank you for the accommodation. So um, sort of what we talked about uh, at the last meeting is doing a little summary um, of the year. Uh, we're not quite at a year of my full service with you guys yet, so I just did till January. Um, so going down to our analytics for up until from May, this is from May until January. Um, so just looking at uh, from comparing Facebook to Instagram, uh, and just to talk about a couple metrics here. So reach, um, that reach is the amount of times your posts are seen uh, on someone's phone. So anytime I post something and it goes to one of your phones, that's reach. Um, so you can see the percent increases there, you know, 162 on Facebook. Uh, 490% on Instagram, um, which is all great. Uh, interactions are up. How many times people are, you know, interacting with the content. Um, yeah, I mean, all, all these numbers are really good. And it's, it's not necessarily because I'm doing anything magical. It's because uh, we're being consistent um, and we're posting quality content. We're engaging with the audience. Um, if you follow any of those, you know, guidelines with any of your social media platforms, you'll find similar trends. Um, the, yeah. And my, the blue line is what, and the black line is which? Are those two separate? Is one Instagram, one Facebook? Okay, so you have, uh, so you have face that first graph on the top is Facebook. The bottom one is Instagram, okay. and then the black line is your reach, okay. and um, the blue line is uh, from organic content created. Or no. Okay, so the bottom blue line is from ads, and the, the, this middle one is from the organic content we've created. Okay. But yeah, to, I think what you're asking is, yeah, Facebook is on top, Instagram is on the bottom. Okay. Yep. Um, here's a couple, some more metrics. Uh, Facebook is the left column, Instagram is the right column. Uh, once again, just laying it out, reach. Uh, you know, profile visits, how many times someone has, you know, searched Kingsburg downtown, things to do, uh, you know, significant growth on that part. Um, so, yeah, I mean, these are all, these are all po you know, positive metrics. I don't, I don't need to, you guys can see the graphs for yourselves. Um, follower growth has been good. So as of January, we had about 1,000 new followers. We started out uh, last May, I think, around 2,200. Um, and as of yesterday, we were sitting around... 3,200, so, um, so yeah, so, so we're looking good there. Um, and, you know, once again, I like to look at followers as potential leads. You know, those are, those are people who are now going to see your posts more regularly. They're going to see me posting about Sense Boutique or, you know, Nino Family Wealth Advisors. Um, and, and, and sort of the goal we like to say in the marketing is you want to see something uh, eight times before it sort of resonates with you. So if I can get, you know, one of you guys out there eight times on that eighth time, someone's going to make the connection. Oh, Amanda Heritage, downtown Kingsburg. So, so that's what we're doing there. Um, we've posted, we're coming up on a roughly 140 posts that we've done since the year. Um, over 40 of those have been business specifically. And then the remainder have been promotion of events or just, you know, scenic shots of downtown. Um, before moving on to um, the influencer stuff that we did last week, do you guys have any questions about, uh, you know, any of the stuff we've talked about? Good. Okay. Do you have this? Can you get this printed for us? Or can you see that? Yeah. yeah. I can print it um, at the end of the 
So I'll email it out to all the Oh, people. email it? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. And so, so generally, um, at the end of each month, I'll do one of these, and Abby will send them out to all the oh, business okay. owners listed, who have their emails at least signed up for. So um, so that's theoretically all the business owners should have access to, okay. to this I information. Okay, that's good. I didn't know that. Yeah, no worries. Um, so, so yeah, last week or the week, uh, two weeks ago now, I guess, we had um, those influencers come to town. Uh, Jorge, uh, the radiologist from Southern California who does social media on the side, but, you know, he has a huge social media presence. Um, and this is the reel he created for us and just some of the numbers um, from that reel, which, you know, are, are pretty awesome. So the reel was played over 400,000 times. Uh, over 8,000 likes, 217 comments. Um, I like to look at these metrics in particular, the shared and bookmarked, because that's saying, hey, someone watched that reel and they sent it to someone else and said, hey, this is something we should go check out. Or the bookmarks, they saved it and said, next time I'm you know, driving down the 99, I'll try to remember to, to stop in Kingsburg. Um, so there's some, some good metrics for that. Um, Accounts reached how many times that you know that reel was sent out to to people over 100,000 times, um, and this this is specific to his account. Um, so, you know, 80,000 followers of his saw it, and then 45,000 new followers saw that content. So, uh, it did well for him too. Did uh, when uh, did Jorge did. We noticed an increase in followers. Yes. Uh, yeah, so um, we had about uh, 200 more followers than average Okay. Uh, from, just from this one reel. Generally, we gain you know, roughly 100 followers a month. It will vary. You know, some months will be 60, some will be 200, but um, the average is generally around 100 followers a month. And so from that reel, yeah, we've gained about 200. So, uh, yeah, I mean, as far as bang for your buck, and obviously, I was, you know, thanks to you for covering the, uh, you know, his lodging, you know, and some of the food expenses. Uh, but from the bids pocket, uh, we paid five hundred dollars um, as a stipend for his fuel and, and time and whatnot. Um, so that's a pretty good return on uh, interactions for dollars. So, uh, and then I just I took a couple screenshots of the comments. Um, it was, you know, there were two hundred comments on the post, and and. 95% of them were very positive and, you know, they were, oh, I didn't know about Kingsburg. You know, I thought this was Solvang. Um, we'll have to stop. You know, I've, I've driven past the 99 so many times and or on the 99 and didn't realize you guys were there. And so those, so th that's that informational piece. We want to inform the public that we are here and, you know, we're open for business. Um, there was one comment that said, Kingsburg is a dump. That's all it said. And I said, well, Kingsburg's actually a city. So that was my response to that. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Close. There was no, one really. that said there. Um, I didn't realize there was anything worth visiting on the 99. Oh, so that yeah. was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there was one that said everything off the 99 is you know super sketch. I said, well, we'll be your safe haven. You know? So <laughs> it's it's fun to you know you sort of engage with them to an extent. Um, let them know you're watching. You know, and, and that just goes back to engagement too. I mean. It's, this is all the social media stuff is supposed to be community. It's supposed to be outreach, uh, you know, connecting with your audience. And so if you're not really responding on comments and engaging, it, it's, it doesn't really make sense. Um, I enjoy doing it. <laughs> cool. Um, and I know I'm just bringing uh, this. What, what this here is uh, what the original contract was um, for the work and sort of how we've changed and adapted it to meet the needs. Um, so on, on our left column, you know, this is sort of what, you know, the bid agreed to do, you know, 12 posts a month, uh, four shared posts. Um, that really didn't work. You know, what I've been doing is just sharing an unlimited amount. So if, you know, Heritage sends me something, whoever sends me something, I'm just going to repost it because the goal of our page is supposed to be the hub where someone can, you know, log on and see, okay, what's happening downtown in this moment. You know, they don't have to go to an individual page to figure out what's going on. Um, so I think that's really worked best. Um, content creation sessions, we signed up for two originally. And, and what that a content creation session is essentially <coughs> the way I sort of quantify the photo video work. So it's usually, a, you know, one, to, it could be 30 minutes to two hours, um, depending on the business. Uh, but really what we're trying to get out of that is mixed photo, video, and, and graphic design. Um, 
So when I come downtown and I shoot, you know, I can't just do photo. I have to do video as well, so it's both. Um, and it, it usually comes out to more than two times a month. Usually it's around four. Sometimes it'll be shorter sessions, you know, sometimes it'll be longer. Um, for instance, events that we have coming up, it'll be more time, you know, spent. Um, uh, performance reporting, we've been doing that monthly. Um, I think we could probably get away with doing it quarterly because then we could see sort of bigger trends. Um, engagement, you know, we originally decided not to do that, but it's just best that we do, so I've been doing that. Um, is, sorry, what does that include, the, like responding to the comments? Yeah, engagement, so... Daily um, messages, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, and messages, too. Um, you know, yesterday I, I did a little story, <laughs> an April Fool's thing, like... Uh, I said our dollar trolley was going away. Oh, I saw that. Okay. And then, so then, and then you click on the next one. Hopefully, it, so then you click on the next one, it says April Fool's. Okay. And then it was information on how to rent the trolley. Okay. So that's sort of like engagement, you know, like coming up with creative ideas to promote um, the town. And so, like, then, so people reached out to me on, on Instagram direct message and said, oh, hey, like, how do I rent the trolley? And then I would forward them the city link uh, that talks about the pricing and whatnot. So that's sort of engagement. Um, yeah, platforms, uh, so meta platforms have really been the best. You know, for Facebook and Instagram, that's really what took off. We didn't really see much on LinkedIn and Twitter. It uh, wasn't really doing anything. And it's also because those are, especially LinkedIn is a business-to-business -business, uh, platform. You know, it's not really business-to-consumer. Um, and so, so, yeah, so I think sticking with Facebook and Instagram for now is really the way to go forward. Um, additional event coverage, that's, you know, if I if, – say the allotted content creation session times are up for the month, but we still have the Swedish Festival. I'm still going to go out there and cover the Swedish Festival. Um, and I think that's necessary So, because that is something that's happening downtown. Um, so for all the events, I'll come out and, you know, and I cover those. The training, we had been doing it. I had been putting blurbs at the bottom of our monthly newsletter. You know? um, and there, a lot of the times the meetings, we, you know, we go so long and then we don't even talk about it. And I think the best thing we can do for training is, is in-person stuff. So it can either be, you know, us setting time aside other than this and, you know, talking to all you guys about things that you can do to improve, you know, the quality of your, your video photos, um, you know, going in person, like visiting Teresa, you know, and, and talking to her about how to set up her platform. I think that's really the best thing to do. Um, and, and, yeah, so my basic, my basic pricing um, – you know, is management for a platform is is a thousand dollars a month, and then the content creation sessions are, are about five hundred dollars a month. Um, you know, I, I've noticed from, from early on from doing this that you know, I was doing more than I signed up for, which was totally fine. Um, but I think moving forward, I think you guys are talk about the budget today. Um, it would just be helpful if if we could sort of get that budget locked down, and then I can adjust to that. Because um, unfortunately, it's 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 going to be challenged moving forward consistently with, you know, essentially the amount of time that that I'm being paid for. Mm -hmm. um, I know you guys are going to talk about that, and you know, my goal is to work with you however I can, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, can you give an example of the content creation session? And that would be per session, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, showing up to RPS Real Estate. And doing a video about <clears throat> who Steve is, you know, what is what his influence is downtown, mm -hmm. um, and then what he's getting out of that is a video form, and then uh, you know photos for that that then he can use on his own stuff too. So yeah. if he gets ten photos in a video, um, that's all stuff that he can use on his own, you know, uh, accord. Yeah. And is that billed to the business or to the bid? To the bid, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I think yeah, you, no, were, if you, have you any were looking. You were looking at picking twelve different businesses, one a month type of thing to try to. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so the goal is to highlight, um, you know, one business a week out of those three posts. Uh, so you have, you know, one business, uh, and then promotion of events and promotion of downtown. That's sort of like the the three that are going on for the week. Okay. Um, and yeah, I, I think that's been pretty successful with you know. How we've been doing it in the past, so I'd like to continue doing that. Um, so you the said one, one business, one event, and one general downtown. That's generally, yeah, okay. what sort of shoot for, yeah. Um, 
and that you know that will change based on what events we have going on. You mm-hmm. know, there's lulls during you know the the season where we don't have as much, so we'll favor more businesses or or more just scenic shots of downtown. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know if you guys have any other questions, but I got to head out. Uh, I have about ten minutes here, so. The only feedback I wanted to share just today, because we have the updated who's paid in to the oh, yeah. thing, is to um, narrow down our content based on who's paid their business license fee. Okay, yeah. Because we're so not supposed to highlight businesses, highlight businesses yeah. that haven't paid into right. the budget that pays for the social media management. And the way Ab- uh, Abby and I have been doing it is she'll send me a, an updated list mm-hmm. generally every month that will have that, you know, who's paid, who hasn't. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think we've been doing pretty good about that and not rep- – and then sometimes, for instance, <coughs> Lauren. The, like, last week, there was eight stories. And once we got the list, because we haven't had an updated oh, list. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So there I'll was, like, out six out of the eight that haven't paid yet. Oh, so, right. okay. Yeah. Um, and that was sharing the stories? And that was – I we just that specific day we got the email, I looked through. Yeah, yeah just sharing okay. the stories. Yeah. Okay. And then one feed post was <clears throat> out, you know um, – delinquent or whatever, it, you know, payment requested or something like that. Okay. That they started the renewal process and they just haven't paid. So the ones that aren't even listed on there, mm-hmm. they haven't done anything. Okay. So I tried to email all the business owners to let them know that they decided April 1st was the cutoff. So okay. that motivated some people. Yeah. And other people I just haven't heard from. I feel like there's a really good amount paid yeah. to choose from. Yeah. We just want to stick with the ones. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah. Paid. Um, Okay. Some yeah. And, and so that was going to be my next suggestion was what maybe what you're already doing. Like every, because you can't check daily, like have these people paid or not. You know, that's right. unrealistic. So yeah. the first of the month to get a new updated list and go mm-hmm. off of that. Yeah. But for our website, we talked about only twice a year. We're just going to update it twice a year. So, I mean, monthly seems fair. Right. Um, and I know in the past it's worked, like Lauren, for instance, she reached out to me at one point and said, hey, this business ha- or this business is no longer downtown. Mm-hmm. So that helps too. You know, if you guys see anything and say, okay. hey, this doesn't look right, just send me a message and I can take it down too. Perfect. Sometimes that works quicker than, you know, the list and you waiting for responses. So. And if they pay, they're going to have an active business license right. in a bid, even <clears> if they move. It's not until next year. You know what I mean? So, right. Yeah. Right. So, Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. It looks really good. Thank you. Can we, um, I don't know how to do this. Would this be through the chamber, through the city? For example, um, Chico's had their soft opening last Thursday night, and they invited a few people. Can we make sure that maybe Quinn gets invited to that so he can go and take some photos? Can you do the chamber? Because I, okay. Okay. Yeah. It was Toshiko. Toshiko? Toshiko. Toshiko. Oh, I think Toshiko. I thought I started with a T. <laughs> <laughs> That's be very confusing. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't, didn't hear the T in front of it. Yeah. Toshiko. Toshiko. Yeah. Oh, that's the name. Yeah. I was saying right that. Right next door. I was saying that. Yeah. Um, a little neighborly but tongue anyway, twister. Anyway, any, any grand opening or, but that was all through the I chamber. Every, I didn't even notice or something. Right. Mm-hmm. And well, I can do that too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just let me know. Perfect. Yeah. Because I know a lot of it. I'll just hear it. You know. Um, like I heard. You know, of, of Teresa's opening. You know, we've been talking, so I knew that was going on. I mean, that's usually how I get those invitations. I did talk to Toshiko's. Uh, I couldn't make it that. <laughs> I couldn't make it that day, but we have arranged for me to come out and do some stuff with them in the future. Good. So yeah, we're touching base with them on that, but. Assuming they got a business license. Assuming they pay that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Any, okay. any other questions of Quinn? And I'll hang out here for a little bit if you guys have any okay. more. So. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. Okay. Uh, item number four on the agenda is um, discussion of our budget uh, for 24-25. We are on the fiscal year just like the city is. So uh, our year will end June 30th, and our new year will start on uh, July 1 type of thing. Um, Abby has given us a total breakdown on page 2 of what we have revenues that have come in from the beginning of our um, e- 
existence, 20, 2021 up until 2324. Um, we had um, we had a little bit more expenses that I do not see annually with the purchase of the trees. There was a give or take $5,000 in there uh, that we will not have on an annual basis type of thing. Mm -hmm. So um, Yeah. <clears throat> well, so, plus the nine forty for the lights. Mm -hmm. So, so we're going 16. to we're, we're going to incur some of that because we're going to increase the amount of trees, but it's not going to be to that magnitude. You know, we've got the basic ones down, mm -hmm. so we won't have that expense for another. Uh, those older trees lasted six years, I think it was seven years that I did them. Um, so, uh, you know, down the line we're going to have another expense uh, as they break or get so bad we're going to have to replace them, but uh, uh, that's not going to be an annual expense. So, um, and our budget in the past, is that in here? Has been pretty... Yeah, that will. Yeah, but it's been pretty, it hasn't... Professional services, I thought it was uh, our... Here's our estimated income, and most of the money went into um, downtown oh. business promotion. Yeah, the, that was in, that's in the management plan. Um, it was in the past agendas. It, I think just the last meeting, but I didn't put it in this one. Okay. And and it, as far as you mean, as far as like a certain percentage of the budget was was allocated to be for the professional services? No, I put our expenses, I, I think we used to put our expenses were uh, promotion, things, which was a pretty broad, mm -hmm. you know. Marketing yeah. and branding was 95% of the budget. Marketing would include, Quinn, marketing yeah. would include actually, yeah. you know, the buying Christmas trees. It's, yeah. it's, it's all marketing to, oh, to, okay. to so, the, so it was a pretty okay. broad, um, budget as far as whatever we wanted to put into marketing, we did because that's that's our whole deal is to market downtown. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think we need more of a detailed uh, list uh, or budget. Okay. So it's everything really. So oh. do we have an estimated income or do we go off of Some businesses not having paid yet. Right. A lot, yeah. a lot of the larger downtown staples have not paid. Mm -hmm. okay. <coughs> Abby, you said that ninety-five percent of our budget went to marketing and promotion. Marketing and branding. And branding. That's what the management plan says. Okay, and then. Each year you guys could change. What was the other five percent for? It says delinquency and contingency. Um, oh. So okay. it's literally everything, 95% is like yes. covers everything. Well, my, my, my budget would be, uh, proposal would be that we, uh, for 24, 25, that we, um, our budget are in revenues at $32,000 mm -hmm. and that we spend $32,000 on, um, once again, branding and marketing and, propo and uh, promotion. Mm -hmm. Or if if we need to leave five percent for delinquency and, and all that, you know, I'm I've never dealt with a city budget before, so I know the finance committee met yesterday. So you know, isn't it also true that if you don't use it, you lose it, right? No. Oh, no. that's not. It we, does roll over. Okay, we've that's separate. We've carried on. Okay, so the five percent um, reserve isn't going to affect us if we don't have a delinquency yeah, or contingency. Your guys is, this is your guys. Okay. Budget. So, like, um, for me, example, for my training budget, if I don't use it by July 
numbers, then yeah, I don't get to keep roll it over. Add on. Okay. But this is a, a little different. Out. Okay. Yeah. Thank and you. That's reflected in that bottom yeah. line, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So it says ending fund balance mm -hmm. June thirtieth. For current, that's just for right now. You know, not. It's not June thirtieth. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's a really fluid account for how much what you guys mm -hmm. want to purchase and people pay into it. So. Is that agreeable to the to the board? A thirty-two thousand dollar budget. Yeah. Yeah. We right. we're. Uh, it's a guesstimate, mm -hmm. you right. know, based on past history because we seem to be going, you know, up. Mm -hmm. Except for that one year, we've we stayed pretty constant, but uh, you know. Okay. And we could make it a thirty thousand dollar budget, you know, thinking yeah. that maybe we won't have as many. I think thirty two is fair because, like we've you said, a number of these businesses haven't paid yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that and that still gives us twelve. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand, and those are basically right. If we have fifty, and we're going to plan on spending thirty two. Am I doing eight? Am I doing mm -hmm. Yeah, there's fifty so right now. Somebody else do the math. <laughs> No, oh, not this right is now. for no. next year. Indeed, we're yeah. we're gonna we're our <clears throat> expenditures are going to be. I think we should maybe leave them at thirty thousand mm -hmm. for promotion, branding, and marketing, and then a two thousand for that reserve. Now we can basically use that for whatever we want with that. Yeah, because we haven't come close to spending that much, so right. I feel like that's appropriate number because we want to increase it. But wait until we get further it. into the agenda. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of saw that on the. <laughs> All right, do we need to make a motion on that? Yes. Somebody want to make a motion? I would motion to. Uh, you you move that move we uh, that set we, up budget for 2024-25. For a thirty-two thousand dollar budget, budgeted income mm -hmm. yes. and expenses of thirty thousand dollars for marketing, branding, and promotion, and a two thousand dollar reserve for unidentified expenses. Yes. Okay. Second. Anybody? Second. Okay. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed. Okay, motion carried. Yes. More on this, so what, as the years go on, what are the possibilities with this overage? Because that's, there's a lot of it. Right? So sometimes the like expense and the income are in the same, uh, same month. So you might be, like we might have spent more than the income, but then the next month it will wash. Okay. It just well, depends on how it's built. And I, Teresa, I'm, we don't lose it. Right. As, as we build that up, we can look at bigger projects, which okay. is next That's on the agenda of type of things. Like so the garbage so can. Yes. And then also, are we, were we talking about um, Quinn? Right? Yes, with, that's coming up too. Okay. I look forward. Well, no, Quinn's not on. Yeah, it's not on. It's not on here. We can have that discussion right now if, if you'd like. I think um, that'd be fair. Yes. We, we have to revise the contract. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we need to we need to approve that. Wasn't increase. he going to submit a revised contract? Is that yeah, the that suggestion? I, admit, but I didn't. Um, he it wasn't on the agenda. He, he and I okay. spoke about it, and I think we, we can now discuss that because of. Uh, it's part of the budget item, so mm -hmm. it's on the agenda, basically, uh, what we're going to to do. Uh, I've had a lot of, Leslie and I have had a lot of discussions with Quinn about, you know, the amount of time he's putting in and all that, and obviously uh, he's not being compensated for the amount of effort that he's doing. He's uh, doing a really nice job. Um, oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's um, I think the only thing I, I would want to narrow down is the additional content creation and have like some kind of plan for that because if we're paying $500 for each business to be spotlighted, we want to figure out like a roadmap for that. So it's not just um, 
maybe maybe it's spread out amongst the businesses, new and old, different services. Like I, instead of just having paying five hundred dollars per business, and he's selecting the businesses. Maybe we have some type of a plan and action for that. Does that make sense? Instead of him, you know, instead of the bid paying for five hundred dollars additional, because he said up to four, right? Like he does sometimes four a month. He's mm -hmm. recommending four additional ones. So that's an additional two thousand dollars a month. And I think we would maybe want to have some type of a action plan for that instead of just a. And how would we decide? And that's my thing. We, it's like, what if we get a business that requests the content be created? We could. I mean, this potentially could get really out of hand or expensive. It's expensive, and but it's it's worth the. What he's doing is worth that, so that's not what I'm saying. Yes, I see the value in it. Yeah, well, we but as our bid budget, how yeah. do we pick and choose an extra five hundred dollars <throat> specifically just for one business? Like right now, we are paying him to market us as a whole, but to right. say we want to spend half of that amount on one business only—that's part where I'm like, I'm not sure how as a board we can manage that. I, I guess I understood kind of this differently. I understood that his current contract is what's on the left and we're paying him the $999, right? Mm -hmm. And what he's recommending is on the right. I didn't hear that he made like a specific recommendation for what that would cost, except that he's saying these prices on the bottom would be his normal fees. Except right? it looks it looks as though the uh, content creation sessions would be billed separately. Well, he's already no, doing no. two. He's so already doing two. With so he's going to do four with a so thousand. He's saying, he's saying on the right hand side, that's the stuff that he would like to do, and he kind of left it open for us to say, okay, well, currently you're paying me a thousand dollars to do the things on the left. I'm going to recommend we do the things on the right, and we go back and say, we would like to. I I, I don't I didn't re understand it as that. I understood it as it's a thousand dollars to manage, and then however many content creation sessions you want, they're five hundred each. That was how mm -hmm. I understood it. He's going to do I one business a week, one event, and one general downtown included <coughs> in the postings. I, thought I, he requested I, I think we're, we're going to cut our nose off if we try to get too specific mm -hmm. with him type of thing. Right. You know, I, I think, you know, if we demand you have to go to June's, uh, for the month of May, you know, uh, he needs the summer creativity. Not specific, right, and, but and maybe so, a guideline of let's do one service, one retail, one restaurant, like some kind of a, I, I think $500 for one specific business is an expensive purchase for our budget, and it's not like every, there's no way to cover 100 businesses in a year, so do you know what I mean? So someone's going to be paying in their licensing fee for all these other businesses, but they're not going to be included in that. That's just an expensive five hundred dollars per business, I think. <clears throat> well, I don't know that he did. He, he did one. He did one with me, mm -hmm. and I walked downtown, and we stopped, and I said hello to June and talked about June shop. Just a little right. walk down the street. Downtown. Tim happened to be outside at Casaro's, and and then he scanned up and got the you know the dollar horse mm -hmm. awnings and all that so it covered more than just me now it hasn't been printed because i paid for that because i i didn't want a conflict of interest so i paid him for that type of thing and it hasn't been uh he used a couple little excerpts of it <clears throat> but i i think the 500 dollars is not necessarily just one business yeah. okay because I, I, I thought i clarified with him and that's what he said but mm -hmm. let's maybe we can Go back to that. It's a budget kind of that budget mm -hmm. is kind of like the budget we just passed. It's just an overall. It's he's he's figuring out time. You know, it's not specific to oh, I spent exactly five hundred dollars to cover one business. Okay, that was the way I understood it. He said he was going to create ten images. The businesses could use them. So I I took it as one per business. So I'll just need some clarity on that. <coughs> um, I'd like to I'd like to see it go up to a minimum of two thousand 
2500 would be where I would think we would get him almost full time type of thing. Uh, but um, I think if we doubled it in our budget for this coming year, um, we'd, we'd see a lot. Uh, you know, and I, I love looking at numbers, but you know, guess what? If there's two events in Kingsburg during a month, mm -hmm. he's going to cover both of them. Yeah. Even though that says one. Mm -hmm. you yeah, know, he's done a really good job being flexible with it. Content creation. See, I don't think the four is included in the $1,000. That's where I think, that's what he's saying if you want those, they're extra. Because otherwise, what would be, how would we be increasing the budget? Because we're going to be paying for more. Right. What is what he's saying is he's doing that amount of work and just doing it for a thousand dollars. But what's the proposed new budget that he is asking for? I guess that's where I'm confused. Your what? I don't know what he's asking for for the new budget. He didn't ask. I, I he didn't ask for anything. He left it up to us. He left yeah. it up to but us. To he, and talk, he and I have talked. He and I have talked, and you know, he'd he'd love to have twenty five hundred a month. Okay. And we'd see it. But, you know, my suggestion is we go to 2000 we double it, and watch, and then we can always make an adjustment if we need to, you know, uh, up if we feel like there's a, a demand for it or there's, you know, we... we uh, mm -hmm. But that's my suggestion. Okay, so if we were to, to increase the budget, then we would be receiving what's on the right-hand column? Yes. Yes. So, well, isn't he going to submit a formal budget? That's what I was, I was wondering. I mean, this I, is all, I, I, I thought this was sort of a discussion on, and he, he was going to send us a formal budget. And okay. my understanding is if, if we approve this, we are, $1,000 is his regular fee, and then we're adding two five hundred dollar sessions per month to make the two thousand. Or am I? See, That's what again, I'm trying to We're trying to tie his hands. We, we're going to add another thousand dollars to his budget. Just to do <coughs> to do all what, what, to, to promote Kingsburg and okay. promote. The, he's really downtown. already doing all the stuff on the right hand side yes. for a thousand dollars. Yes. No, he's not. He's saying recommended on some of it because but, there but he's he is doing most it. of it. Yeah, well, no, it. actually, some of it we're refining. Like the platform, he only wants to do meta from now on. But I agree agreed. with that. We already agreed with that. Right, but I'm just saying that's not the actual. That's the recommended. So there's a little bit of both there. It says recommended actual. So he's already eliminated doing Twitter and uh yeah. He, um, I asked him if we could delete it. He said no, not until we've revised the contract. So I'm just saying there. We just. I, I feel like we need like a more specific. Like. Okay. Yeah. I agree with you about just d d doubling what he's getting now. That man is so visible. Mm -hmm. You see him everywhere in town. Mm -hmm. He's always around, and he's always looking for opportunities to film. Mm -hmm. So I think he's. Um, one of the best things we've done. Mm -hmm, I agree with that. Well, he's worth the money. I just want to okay. I'll have him he'll, uh, at our next meeting come with a proposed budget. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we can put it on the agenda and vote and for it because we can't vote for it today anyways, so that would be good. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. In my direction, that about $2,000 that we've been discussing this month. Yeah, just have put, like a, a revised if contract. He's, if, if we're asking him to come in with a specific budget, he can come in with anything he wants. He can come in and ask for five thousand dollars a month. Yeah. We're asking him to put what would be included in that contract. Okay. Yeah, I think we agreed to the the two thousand. I guess we're just asking for um, a little more clarity uh, for our benefit and for his because mm -hmm. yeah, for him too because he's doing more than he's contracted. Me. That's his yes, choice. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, he is clearly doing more than what he was originally being paid for. So of course we want to compensate for that. Mm -hmm. But I think with for our budget and for his work, it just a little more clarity on what, what he's doing. But absolutely agree with the $2,000 budget mm -hmm. without tying his hands too much. Letting him have the creativity is, is good too. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, any other 
budgeted items we want to talk about. Can we ask Abigail to go ahead and put that on the agenda for next month? Okay. So we can vote on it. Item number five, trash cans on Draper. Um, that should actually say on Draper and downtown, uh, you know, it needs to include some um, side streets too that are members of the bid type of thing. Um, How many total trash cans are there? Um, currently there's um, 12. That includes the park or whatever. No, we're, we're, not, we're not doing anything in the park. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, just Draper and the side Draper side. and Marion and Smith. Would be the park has um, trash cans like at our house type of trash cans. Oh, yes. that's right, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Draper, Marion, Smith, no, not California. Nothing well, on there. No, there's none. Where, where's needed on California? Okay, the right now there's none. You know, um, I came up with the that we need to probably start with 30. Um, 30 of these trash can type of thing. Um, Leslie did an extensive amount of work and then handed it over to me and I spent a couple hours looking on <clears throat> the web. She actually talked to trashcanswarehouse.com um, and um, ended up with this one that um, you have in your, uh, that's on the screen. Mm -hmm. It's a 35 gallon. It has a um, flat top, not the dome top, which um, that's removable and there is a liner on the inside of it. It's, it's steel or metal um, powder coated um, with anchors that can be into the concrete and a leveler because our sidewalks go with that. They'll be level uh, so they will be. Uh, talk to Mid Valley. Uh, they are, this would be acceptable to them because they're the ones that dump dump these trash. I uh, gave them a call. That they were fine with this. The lid comes off, but it's also cabled on, so nobody can just mm -hmm. walk off with it. They'd have to have cutters to walk off with it. Um, I personally love the blue, but I'm worried that people will think, oh, that's only for recycling. So there's a, a bunch of other colors to choose from. Excuse me. Um, bunch of other colors. Um, there's yellow. There's red. There's um, cream. There's black. Um, the bronze and some of that stuff was a little too flashy. I don't think we need to draw attention to our trash cans. We just need people to use them, type of thing. Um, and like I said, I thought for Kingsburg and the village look. I'm just scared of the blue, though. That's the only thing that scares me, that people won't utilize it because they'll think it's recycling. It's a very recycling color type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so that, out of all of our research, that's uh, what we came up with this. There's also another one, and the, the screen's up there right now, that has room for advertising or promotion. We cannot advertise, uh, in other words, uh, the. It's city monies are actually buying these trash cans, and therefore RPS Real Estate can't say, well, right. you know, I'll pay you and put my uh, advertisement on here. But could we put the downtown logo? We could put... The bid logo? Well, <clears throat> on the first one they showed you, or actually on... We could, the, the <clears throat> I recommend not the bid logo. I recommend like they're the like city? a dollar horse. Oh, okay. A nice large dollar horse on it. We could put the dollar horse, as you can see on this one, there's a, uh, the, on the big red one, there's a, uh, there's the insert. Oh. I see the insert as being maybe a car show, April yep, 23rd. Swedish Festival. A Swedish Festival. Um, you know, those type of things. And then on the other side, having the, the, the sticker with the dollar horse, you know, those vinyl stickers. <clears throat> with a dollar horse. Um, they yeah. no longer do cutouts. They used to do cutouts where you could have <clears throat> of a dollar horse, for mm -hmm. example. But they don't do that anymore because they said they're so detailed <clears throat> they found out that it chips. And then people come back to them and want their money back because okay. it chipped type of thing. So, you know. 
Um, Those cutouts are um, the ones that you're seeing would be for car show. Those are reusable. They're like a... We would have to have those made. Okay. <clears throat> and then they would slip in. They're pliable, so they will, <clears throat> you know, do the, the rounding. Or um, just save it either for the next year. Do you have to order it through them? That? No, I don't think we do. Okay. I don't think we do. Um, what size are they? They're, they're 35 gallons? 35 gallons. Uh, they are 50... Oh, I had it. 55 inches high. Oh, okay. Um, and this one shows 33 inches high. Mm -hmm. 18 and a half or Yes. like the blue honestly <laughs> yeah I do yeah. too I, I actually when I looked at the blue I didn't think recycling because right mm -hmm. normally I look for the symbol mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay yeah. I think we might be okay okay good mm -hmm. I'm it glad to hear that because I, I just mm -hmm. I was I, I like the blue I think it fits our, it our yeah, village I, theme better. I don't think any other color would look better mm -hmm. than blue I think yeah. I mean yellow would be too bright Mm -hmm. Unless you and it would get dirty easier. Yeah. Yes, that's true. I think the blue. Is yeah, nice. I didn't think I didn't think recycling either, because this seems okay. like it's a little bit lighter blue, and there's always a symbol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Right. It looks more royal green. It looks very kingly bird, honestly, in the blue. Mm -hmm. Kingly bird blue. Can I say something? Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. I would when I was in the when I was in the fair industry, they said trash should just go away. Mm -hmm. You know, it shouldn't be a Stand you know, up. it shouldn't be something that you you know, trash cans should be hidden by a tree or something. Accessible and visible but not not your that's not your main attraction, mm -hmm. you know, when you're talking about. It. So I agree with you hundred percent. And I'm glad you like the blue because that was my first choice. That's why we color. printed this one off. But yeah. I, I just wanted to bring that up to see if that scared anybody else. And if it doesn't, then we're good. Do they have a bulk option? Do you get a bulk discount? Okay, so 30? <clears throat> 30 of these would be $23,250. Shipping mm -hmm. is $1,395. Taxes is $2,086.68. So a total of $26,731.68. When Leslie talked to the lady, she said if we would order um, anything over 20, there would be a discount, but she said she'd have to talk to the management to okay. see what it was. I th Leslie thought it would be about a 10% discount type of thing. Um, is 30 enough? No, 30 is not exactly enough, uh, but it would it would get us, I think, about 80% there. Mm -hmm. I think we need three mm -hmm. on each side, on each block. There's currently two. I would like to see three. Um, and if we're talking about the three blocks, uh, 6, 12, 18, that's on Draper Street. There's 18, and then if we put some on... California because we do have bid on California and Marion and Smith Smith mm -hmm. yes yeah, Smith then we would you know that would get us and then we could t actually take a look at it and see maybe in next year's budget we buy 10 more kind mm -hmm. of thing you know uh, we currently only have 12 we have Four, eight, twelve. Like. <coughs> there's, there's twelve. There's three of the cement ones down on one block. There's three on one of the blocks, but there's on the. I think at this block, there's only two on each side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When talking about the cost, do we need to pay to have them installed and the current ones removed? 
Is there any maintenance? Well, there's no really maintenance on everything, you know. Mm -hmm. I've taken those lids um, A maintenance in the past expense, and, I guess. And, and pressure washed them. Mm -hmm. um, installing, I don't see that as being a big expense, and maybe we could talk to the city uh, about, you know, getting those that done. Okay. Um, because we definitely, these are ones that if they're not, you're not going to move those concrete ones, you know, but these um, do need to be probably bolted, you know, bolted down because okay. they're very easily removable. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway. Um, who's, who's paying for this? How do you decide to split it? Um, who's paying for it? The bid's paying for it. Okay. The whole, or weren't we partnering with? The well, no. no. We're not part. I think uh, our proposal to the city would be um, we're part. We'd like to partner with you of removing the old one, mm -hmm. um, and Installed. and helping us install. And I'm sure I have a business partner that we installed some stuff into concrete the other day. So I'm sure we can. Maybe I can. Can I use the word con him into doing it? <laughs> <laughs> um, if the city doesn't have the, the that technology to go into the concrete. We also need to go back to the city and ask, is it okay if we drill into the sidewalk and to bolt these things down type of thing. Mm -hmm. So, so, just, so okay. that's going to cut a, take a big bite into our mm -hmm. 50000 that we currently have, but we have more money coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, there's still enough money to uh, increase Quinn if we decide to do that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, I, I, I'd like to have a little money for we decide to hire the trolley for something. We decide to do this and all that, but this would be a, this would make a statement, I think, to our bid members too. That yes, your money is going, you know, in the trash. In the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help Can we but couldn't help that one. Into trash. And I think it'll be quite right downtown. That one. Yeah. Uh, those things we got now, they served their purpose. They were, they were, that was the style that mm -hmm. 40 years ago when we put them in. Okay, that's old they are. I was going to ask no you idea. that. I just okay. made that up. Okay. <laughs> but it's probably cl pretty close. But it's been a long time since <laughs> they've been updated. Time. And we definitely need more. I yeah. Mean, you, want, you know on the events or any of the weekends, they're overflowing. and Yeah. No, we've, we've taken many bags yeah. into the dumpster because they look really, it's a eyesore for sure. <laughs> I don't know if we go back to the budget sheet. Yeah. So we're saying the twenty six thousand ish comes from the fifty, right? Right. And then this year for twenty four twenty five, we have a thirty two thousand dollar budget. Twenty four of that, in in theory, if we move forward and vote on it, would go to Quinn. So we have still like. Eight thousand dollars to do other things, like you said, the trolley, the right. Am I mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Well, and there's still more money to come in for twenty three, twenty four, yeah. correct? Yeah, we're missing. And people. but just we will have to use our reserves. No, what is it? Our balance from twenty three, twenty four. To operate in 24 25 for the first six months mm -hmm. until money starts coming in again. Mm -hmm. So, we the 8,000 that you, you know, and of course, if we increase Quinn by a thousand, that, that'll be spread out over on a monthly basis mm -hmm. type of thing. It's not as if that's all coming out of our budget at the time. Right. Do we want to move forward on trash cans? Uh, can we, yes. And yes. It says trash can, but it doesn't say possible. Uh, but it's it's on the agenda, therefore we can approve it. A budget for that. Okay. Okay. Because we still need to check, like you said, the, we send it over for public works and see if council needs to approve it or not. Okay. But we could vote on spending the money. So. Based Instead on shipping taxes and 30 trash cans, uh, I would entertain a motion for up to 
$27,000 because this came out to 26,731.68. So if we say up to uh, $27,000. If we um, get that 20% off discount, it would bring it down quite a bit too. Okay, but let's or 10%, not, yeah. I mean, yeah. 10%. Let, let, let's not. Right, over, yeah, we don't want to under budget. I'm just saying that would make a big difference. Not 20%, probably so 10%. Did you just make that motion? No, I can't, can't make, make it. make it to leave as the chairman. Yeah. Or do we want to say the purchase of 30 and not have a dollar amount? Or do we need to have a dollar amount? I think to go to council, we need to have an estimated dollar amount. And <clears throat> I'll try to put something together with this, proposed locations, and, and, yeah. and, then, <clears throat> and then we have to ask, you know, okay. permission to do it and then you know talk about installing and removing of the old ones but somebody said oh you can make the old ones to the park and all that and I'm going I think they've served their purpose you know mm -hmm. type of thing. okay so they'd you're gonna do a, a proposed map they'd make maybe? a great retaining wall if you put them next to each other <laughs> nothing's gonna nothing, if we have a flood nothing's gonna <laughs> penetrate those um, so was there a motion yes um, I will make a motion to approve the purchase of waste receptacles okay. with a budget of $27,000. Up to? Up to $27,000. 30 of them. 30 of them. 30. Yes. And I will second that motion. Okay. Move and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Motion carried. Um, temporary banners for coming soon bid businesses. Mm -hmm. I did not request that on the agenda, so I'm who did. We and did um, last meeting. You guys asked for it to be on the agenda. Yeah, we had talked about getting a banner made of a certain size, right, to put over a window, like somebody's windows that have been uh, boarded yes, yes. up or closed up so that it would just look a little more appealing. Um, that's what we talked about. Can, do, do we have the ability to go in and ask a building owner to put a banner up? Like, sure, we could we ask them. A, we have the ability to ask. We yeah. can right. say, you know, we're putting this up. We can't do that. Mm -hmm. you know, we, right. We have the ability to Ask them. Okay. And I think we talked about as long as we as long as we make it um, generic enough to a certain degree, not like coming soon. A new business is coming soon to Kingsburg or something where the bus if the business owner is trying to keep it private or mm -hmm. it's not available. Yeah. It's just under renovation mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. The paper is going to come off of the one Morgan's. And there's going to be, we're, what we're doing is going to put um, like a, the royal family portraits in there so that there's something to look at for our Swedish festival. And so, and then probably a, behind that a gigantic Swedish flag. So it would be nice to have a sign that says, you know, a business coming soon on that. And I have no idea what's happening across the street, the, what I call the old Casaros. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That brown paper's still up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, have they pulled a business license? Those folks? Uh, not a business license. Okay. I mean, two of the companies that are listed their names. So, I don't know really the planning, like where it's at, but there is a business that I know of that's going to be going in there. So we do have a contact for putting up a. <laughs> Everything's so is this a um, this is assumed that we would reuse them? Yes. yes, a vinyl sign probably. I have mine made from rod. Mm -hmm. um, new business coming soon, and our and our logo is that what? I think those are great. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that would probably be what a couple hundred dollars. Two, three hundred dollars. Yeah, what what does he charge for those bands? I think a couple hundred dollars a piece will, mm. you know, handle it. And How many I'm are thinking, you thinking? I'm just guessing. Uh, like 
like two by six or something? Two by six. That's yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And how many at, at yeah, a meeting couple two and have them Because <coughs> there's a couple vacant spots downtown right now. If we had well, two. And there definitely is um, size requirements on the permit. And the largest you can do, I mean, the largest is, is pretty large. Well, I think we had talked about putting it inside the window. Mm -hmm. Oh, that so that we don't yes. have to worry about, to worry about that. that. That way we Got can you. use Sorry. Them. Yeah. That's a better okay. idea. Yeah. Well, and I think that there's a timing issue also. They cannot be more than a month, more than 30 days. days. But that's right. on the outside, the inside. Right. You know, inside. Because I know, and all you have to do is point to the library, which has been up there for <laughs> four years now. It's supposed to be right. So should we? But two, I think two by six is because mm -hmm. all businesses are different sizes. We mm -hmm. want to make sure it fits and just not obviously not over you know mm -hmm. cover the whole window but when you usually in a two, even on a two by six there would be some leeway at each end to, to fold in yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's going to say new business coming because some of these are relocations i don't know it doesn't matter the verbiage it's this the ex idea that something exciting is coming downtown or like we're building downtown to build i don't know how to how to word something it. Something exciting coming through. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know like one of them is, is not a new business. They're just expanding. Sure. How about business coming soon? You know, yeah. Like it's a new business. Yeah. Business coming soon. I mean, obviously it has to be gender. It has to be something reusable. But like you say, not all businesses are new. But most of them would be new. Even something along those soon. lines. Can we approve? the banners and then maybe the it's verbi a mock up and then have the verbiage we could we could uh, what's the word finalize the wording I'm sure sure you know maybe get some mock ups too if, so we need to pay Rod to design it if could he design it we we don't need to pay him to design it if if we approve a budget and we know we're going to have let's say two banners, you know, at $200 each, uh, up to $200 each, and we can ask him for some mock-up of and what he thinks, okay. too, type of thing. I asked Chad GPT, and he <laughs> said um, opening soon or stay tuned for exciting updates. Ooh. Yeah, our, like, our, like, here we grow again is always kind of fun for downtown. Mm -hmm. Something like that, where it's like, say, this yeah. is exciting, look at this empty building it's really exciting you know something's coming here here we grow again is nice and fun because that could be something that is moving or expanding, mm -hmm, or, expanding. or under construction under construction okay so was that a motion to uh, oh, for sure. two banners <laughs> to, <laughs> that's what i meant to say yes. for, for uh, up to four hundred dollars for two banners um and we will decide on the verbiage at uh after looking at some samples, okay. do we need to do we need to go up to five hundred to think of? Okay. Do you think four? Is, is your motion up to five hundred? Yes. Okay. We have a motion up to five hundred dollars for two banners, um, and. Hey, I, Amanda already started to make the motion. Sorry. So you can. Okay, so I make a motion to approve the purchase of two bid banners up to five hundred dollars. We have a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. I have a band. Verbiage to be too. determined. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because Rod already has our bid. Oh, okay, logo, that's so true. That oh, he, he can recreate that very easily. Okay. Mm. Yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully <laughs> not. not. That's a but, lot. But just in case, we yeah. don't want to have to come back and do it again. That's fine. I also would like to see us do a banner for the um, downtown holiday kickoff and put it up on the overpass spot. I know it's way a long time from now, but just something to keep in mind when we're talking about the budget. We'll have an idea of how much it costs. But you know what I'm talking about, the spot right there, the overpass? Mm -hmm. I think that would be really good for our holiday kickoff first Saturday of November. Mm. <coughs> 
We'll put that on a future agenda. Okay. <laughs> um, item number seven. Um, Do you know who submitted? Was the same thing. You said the last meeting and they said to put it on yep. the agenda for the next meeting. We were talking about if there was a way to get the free Narcan um, supply for each business. And I was thinking about um, Laura, what meeting were we in where there was a woman in there who said she knew somebody who ran a nonprofit organization and if you paid the postage? It was um, Willow Bannon, and I know that last week, Carpenter, the last meeting said she's going to get from Molly. She said okay. that Adam Molly has that contact, but okay. he's actually, it's something that Leslie was working on. And we were at the task force. Yes. Meeting, if you can. Bannon you can send them your request for, we'd like 100 Narcan dispensers, whatever the word might be, and then you pay the postage and they send them to you, which, and they're a nonprofit, so that money goes back into um, research and things for um, the overall epidemic, um, which I, I feel like that might be nice and appropriate, but we'd need some numbers, so. Leslie was also at the change of rooms meeting. She said that that is at the kitchen room meeting also, and I told them that at our, your last meeting that you had agreed to move forward on this, and the chamber also said that they'd be willing to support and help with that. Okay. They said so, they'd team up if possible. Yeah. So maybe we'll consider it next time. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe we, say, we, can we, just, can we can we put it on the agenda next time too? And when yeah. Leslie has, yeah. obviously she has the information. I feel like you need to vote and move forward. Yeah. Okay. Um, item number eight, reports from board members. Any reports on anything that we need to discuss? No. Okay. Um, I would encourage board members to, uh, and I understand that a lot of have their own businesses, but to uh, contact the chamber and see if there's any need for any help or anything that they can do. Uh, their, two of their biggest, biggest events are happening uh, this month, the car show, and uh, next month, of course, the sewage festival. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, just <coughs> if you have any spare time or anything, just stick your head in and say, is there anything I can do to help um, with those two events type of thing? I've um, already been volunteered. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. Um, if no reports from board members, then uh, other business? Hearing none. Actually, I, I oh. want to comment just real fast. Since yes. I walk around downtown a lot, I always see tourists Agreed. You guys have seen them, or they came into your shops and stuff, but like a lot. That's great. Good. Yeah. Good feedback. Nobody's yeah. bought a house because of that video. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. Steve. Nobody. You're well, planning a scene. I have, a scene I have to tell you, yesterday there was a man <laughs> walking around, t taking, filming, filming all over town, and he works for this, the, and it goes on social media. When people want to move. And they want to know, well, what else, what, what's in that town? You know, they, they just want to, don't want to just see a house. They want to see, I want to see everything else going on and what else goes on. So he was filming yesterday downtown. He was filming neighborhoods. And then he um, also filming shoppers, tourists, all around town. Is to, um, so that was to showcase Kingsburg in case you want to check out Kingsburg to buy a house. Good. Yeah, but I don't. I don't remember the site. Something about homes. Well, well homes.com was in town. Their okay. car was parked right in front of my. That was probably it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that was they it. were parked in front of your office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I could never find anybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
and they're they're kind of like Zillow and Realtor.com and all that. They're they're not it's specific generic. to any uh, kind of generic. So that was good. Yeah, that's yeah. any press is good. Well, most um, press is good. Well, he, he came into my store. He said, "Wanted some shoppers." So I, I had this mother and daughter in my store shopping, and they they were just absolutely perfect. He said, "You are just perfect shoppers." <laughs> but she says, "My husband might see this, and he wasn't. She was a little bit nervous." That's funny. Okay. Hearing no other business. Well, uh, we, well. we also want to encourage people to wear Swedish costumes. There was a, a, a man in my store a um, couple, oh, two or three weeks ago. He's from Astoria, Oregon, and they have this big um, midsummer festival. Mm -hmm. They said for a week before the event, people, everybody downtown is wearing costumes. But they, it could be Viking costumes, could be do that, and what it does, it gets people enthusiastic about the event, and then visitors know something important is happening. So, mm -hmm. well, so aren't we encouraged to wear uh, the? Yeah, I was just going to be next. It's hard to find them to purchase. Mm -hmm. You know, I've run into that every Swedish festival. There are. A couple of seamstresses in town that could sew them. I have made more than 300, but I, I just don't have time to sew anymore. I work a 48 hour week. And then, <laughs> then it's, so I, I really don't have time to sew anymore. But um, there are people that still have a sewing machine and, you know, might be able to do it. But we could just wear Swedish t shirts. I mean, you can get those. those well, just the, the, when, the when, when it went to t shirts, People stopped wearing costumes and wore the t-shirts. Mm -hmm. So that really killed the whole costume thing. Speaking of t-shirts, I did get the note from the chamber to that downtown business employees can get the car show t-shirts for yes. like such a great price. So we usually do that every year for the girls that are working mm -hmm. at the shop. So it's different from costumes, but similar as, as it's already mm -hmm. available. You just have to pre-order them by the, I don't know what date, mm -hmm. the 8th or something. So throwing that in there because you reminded me when you said t-shirt. June, if we could find like a good source where people could order costumes that would be readily available, that's a fun so idea. Advertise and mm -hmm. put on Instagram. We're making notes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing to vote on though, Steve. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no motions. No motions are being uh, presented. This was just discussion. Um, <laughs> no I'm motion needed. I'm going to... Uh, adjourn this meeting uh, 9.15 and our next meeting will be uh, the 7th of May uh, same location and same time see everybody thank you it's great to think of all the things that will happen